Hello and welcome again to Jack's Tool Reviews. Today I got for you the Toro 60 volt leaf blower. This is a cordless version, 60 volt, uh, brushless motor, 565 CFM. I believe it's a 115 mile per hour leaf blower here. It's a nice little unit, lightweight. Let's see if I can do it with the pinky here. You know, really lightweight unit. Got some nice features to it. Um, this model came with a two amp hour battery and as well as a charger. So if you are just getting into this Toro line, the 60 volt batteries are quite weighty. This is heavier than the leaf blower itself. Uh, clips in real easily into the back, little slot. Let's do that quick. Little retaining button in the back so you can press to release, pull out. Um, variable speed trigger here. Turbo mode button in the top, which you need to press and hold, as well as a speed switch that helps. So if you click that in, it'll lock the speed that you're at for you. Um, this trunk in the front, little button to press out, slide that right off. So right out of the box, this thing is quite simple, easy to use. Um, I'm going to go right in, a little different than my normal video formats, and focus a lot on performance because I find that the 2 amp hour battery is not long enough. Uh, 115 miles per hour is extremely strong. Unfortunately, it's February, so what you're going to see me do today is on some wet, heavy snow, use the turbo boost to blow the snow like just... You'll see. It almost looks like a little explosion. It's, it's very strong, but I'm, I kid you not, the battery only lasted about seven minutes on turbo mode. The box will boast like 70 minutes of runtime or up to... 90 minutes if you lose the low power mode. Again, keeping in mind that this is a variable speed switch. If you need more power than that, you're going to be nowhere close. If you need that turbo the whole time, you're talking this is less than 10 minute charge. Um, to give you an idea, here's what the charger looked like. I find it funny that the charger is significantly smaller than the battery itself. And um, Last couple of things I'll say before we cut to performance is that this is, a, as I understand, a three-year warranty on it. You register online or by text. Um, there will call for, uh, I misspoke, it's 110 mile per hour is the max airspeed. It's got the lithium ion batteries. Again, I've explained in my last video why lithium ion is a better, more stable battery. It could take hundreds of charges. Um, we'll stand the test of time better for you. Why the brushless motor is superior for you in terms of more efficiency, reducing heat, um, less maintenance. Um, that, uh, that does it. So let's go ahead take a look for you here. You know this is a nice lightweight piece. Let's see how it does. Thanks. Ah, please like and subscribe or give a comment down below letting me know what I need to be doing better. I appreciate everybody's input. The only reason I'm focusing more on performance now is because I got comments telling me to do it. So all the feedback you can, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, so we've now reached the point in the video where you're going to see that the battery was starting to die on me. I look like I'm surprised because I genuinely was. I wasn't expecting this to last me nearly only seven minutes. So that video on the right where I'm checking out the battery status indicator, that's me being a little bit mystified. Um, some comments about the unit. I've seen comments, people claiming that it is super loud. In my, in my opinion, this is really not that loud, but the instruction manual will suggest that you do wear hearing protection. Um, I would suggest you do so. To um, expand a little bit on an earlier comment about the 60 volt line from Toro, 
they are just getting started. Uh, right now they have also available like a snow blower and a weed whacker and uh, even a couple of versions of both models. So they're you know, again they're just getting started. They're planning to expand and if you were to have gotten something like the snow blower, they actually typically sell that with either six amp hour or seven and a half amp hour batteries. Um, so when I was mentioning how the two amp hour, uh, amp hour battery was insufficient, uh, the larger sizes do exist. Uh, I'm not able to comment on price through these uh, reviews, but what I can say is if you try to buy the battery independently at the current pricing structure, you may just be better off, um, let's say you down the line you wanted the 60 volt snowblower. Well, uh, through the current pricing structure, it does show the snowblower with the larger batteries purchased together does come with a discounted battery price. So that would probably be the route I'd go if you guys wanted to have um, performance for longer with these tools and not have your leaf blower cut out on you in seven minutes on turbo mode. So the charging time is also a comment that I've seen and I want to tell you that both times that I've charged this two amp hour battery it was over an hour to charge it which is rough because you charge it for over an hour to get seven minutes out again on turbo mode but still so the comments I've seen on the seven and a half amp hour battery is that it took more than four hours that's a long time certainly um, other things I did not ca cover were to mention that there is a battery charge indicator you know, with little LEDs to press button just on the battery itself it lets you know one two three or four bars to let you know where is the charge at are we fully charged are we fully depleted as well as a status indicator of charge on the charger itself so uh, think to yourself is there a flashing green that means it's charging is there a solid green that means that it's fully charged is there a red flashing that is a false and I believe uh, there's a second like, I believe solid red is an indication that we're outside of the safe charging range so meaning uh, like above 120 degrees Fahrenheit and below I believe 40 degrees Fahrenheit uh, verify that against the manual but I'm close so anyway I'm sure you guys are noticing with all of these videos I'm showing here that that snow is certainly exploding away I uh, want to emphasize to you that it is both wet and heavy the only things it struggled to blow away in turbo mode were my footprints but even then it's still kept up uh, so last impressions here do I recommend the unit absolutely do I think that you're gonna be happier with a larger battery absolutely thanks for your time everybody please again like and subscribe uh, really trying to grow this channel and I really appreciate all the feedback you give me even the negative feedback it only makes me better so thanks guys survive the winter see ya